In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, some salient or important features of a sine graph, a cosine graph, and a tan graph. Okay, so let me start with the sine graph. I have made many, many videos on sine graph. Now, <coughs> sine zero. Okay, now to understand the sine and the cosine graph, it's always to refer to a unit circle. Now, this is a unit circle. Uh, uh, with center 0, 0 and a radius of 1. So this point is 1, 0, this point is negative 1, 0. So when you're in, circular, in a circular trig uh, situation, uh, you're always considering a point which is moving anti-clockwise from this point. Okay, so this is the starting point. 1, 0 is the starting point. So you are thinking about a point which is rotating anti-clockwise from this point. So this is the direction. This is the anti-clockwise. Okay. So yeah, I've drawn a right angle triangle. Circular trick is based on right angle triangle trick. Okay, a right triangle trick. So this triangle O M P is a right angle. This is the angle theta. Now what does that mean? This point, which is an arbitrary point, uh, coordinate x and y, has moved theta degrees from here. So we are always talking, the convention is anti-clockwise from this point, 1, 0. <coughs> so point P has moved theta degrees anti-clockwise. Okay, so you can understand this is OM is x. <coughs> and PM is Y. So, using uh, uh, Soka Toa, if you are familiar with Soka Toa, can I say cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 1 and this implies you can say X is nothing but cos theta. This is very important. X corresponds to cos theta. In the same way, I can say, say sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, which is y over 1, which implies y is nothing but sine theta. So y corresponds to sine theta and x corresponds to cos theta. And that's why I've written x is equal to cos theta. So now your coordinate or Cartesian plane of coordinate x and y changes to cos theta sine theta. So when the point is at this point, say let us name this at point A, the coordinate x coordinate is 1. So cos 0, when the point is at 0, sorry, when the point is at A, it hasn't moved, so it, the theta would be 0. So cos 0, so let us talk only about sine now. We'll come to cos later. So this is, you should be familiar with the sine graph. So... <clears throat> At A, your theta, let me write, at, at A, your theta is 0 degrees. So you're saying cos, sorry, sine 0 is 0. That's why sine 0 on a calculator is always 0. Now the problem of right angle trig is it does, it can't explain, say, sine 180 or sine 270 or even sine 90, okay? Uh, it can explain up to sine 90, but it cannot explain any angle beyond 90 or e even equal to 90 okay so sine 0 is 0 you can understand sine 90 is 1 that's why sine 0 is 0 and sine 90 is 1 i'll show this on a graphic calculator so when you're talking about sine you're looking at the y coordinate okay so here at 0 degree it is 0 this is 90 degree the here when the particle reaches a point b so let us name this as point B. It has moved 90 degree. Here it has moved 270, sorry, 180 degree. C at C it has moved 180 degree anti-clockwise. At D it has moved 270 degree. And again at A it's 360 degree. So this is one full cycle. So we'll start a point moving anti-clockwise this is one full cycle so let me write 270 properly so at d it is 270 degree okay so let us start so that is why sine 0 is 0 
sine 90 is 1, sine 180 is sine sin 180 is 0. We are looking at the y coordinate. Sine 270 is negative 1. That's why sine 270 is negative 1 and sine 360 is 0. So this is one full cycle. Okay. Now, for cos, if you look at cos, you're looking at your x value. So cos 0 is 1. That's why cos 0 is 1. Cos 90 is 0. At 90 it is 0. Cos, you're looking at your x coordinate. Cos corresponds to the x coordinate. <coughs> cos 180 is negative 1. So this is your cos graph. So cos 0 is 1. Cos 90 is cos 90 is 0. Okay. Cos 270 is sorry, cos 180 is negative 1. Okay. And cos 270 is again 0 and cos 360 is 1. So this is one full cycle. So this is this is that's why this is a sine graph and this is a cosine graph. Now this is this is called the first quarter. From 0 to 90, it's the first quarter. 90 to 180 is the second quarter. This is the third quarter, and this is the fourth quarter. So this is a translator. So this is the first quad or quadrant. In maths, it's called quadrant. You can use the word quarter. Like quadrant is, has come from the word quarter. So this is the first quadrant. Okay. This is the second quadrant. This is the third, and this is the fourth. Okay. So sine, so let me draw an arrow to divide the four quadrants. So this is this is the first quarter or quadrant, this is the second quadrant, this is the third, and this is the fourth. Okay, so let me name this. This is the first, this is the second, this is the third. This is very important when you're drawing solving trig equations. So in the first quarter. The first quarter, or the first quadrant, first in the second quadrant, sine is positive. In the first and second quadrant, sine is positive. Okay. In the first, okay, sine is negative in the second and, this actually should have been moved a little. So let me move it slightly. So this is a, okay. So in the first quarter, quadrant, the first and the second quadrant sign is positive. In the second and the fourth quad, so in the third and the fourth quadrant sign is negative. If you look at cos, cos is positive in the first and the fourth quadrant. First and the fourth quadrant cos is positive. In the second and the third quadrant cos is negative. Now a tan graph, oh, I had go. This is a tan graph. I'll show all these graphs. Now tan zero. 10 is, I don't have, I'll explain this later on. I'll draw the graph. So this is the graph of y is equal to 10 of x or 10 theta. Okay. So 10, 0 is 0. 10, 90 is undefined. Okay. So it this is an asymptote. So a 10 graph asymptotes towards 90. It's not defined at 90. Okay. You can think about it, why it's not defined. Now, and this is one cycle. So a tan has a period of 180 degree. Sine and cos, let me go back. Sine and cos has a period of 360 degree. But tan has a period of only 180 degree. Again, this is repeating itself. So you've got an asymptote at 90. And 90 plus 180 is 270. Again, you have an asymptote here. So nine, if you want to draw the next is, suppose, just to explain, uh, this is uh, 360 plus 90 is 450 degree. Okay, so I'm going to send to it again at 4. Okay, uh, let me move this, show this better. Uh, okay, so yeah, if you want to draw, this is one cycle, this is the second cycle okay so this is oh this is 360 okay and the graph will go like this not exact but it's like this okay so 
90 it's at some torque so I'll show you this graph it's better to show you this is so so let me change my setting to degrees and degrees yeah and I go to graph and let me type in 10x 10 is related with sine and cos but I'll not go into that now I want a trick graph from 0 to say 450 degree okay and this is fine okay so this is what I'm saying so this is yeah this is 90 this is 180 this is 270 this is 360 and this is 450 so there is an asymptote at 90 degree okay that you the graph doesn't it's approach is 90 it's not 10 90 is undefined I'll show you suppose say if you type in 10 90 it will say maths error okay uh, if you type in 10 270 again it uh, sorry 10 270 you have got undefined okay again at 10 to 450 it's mm, 10 450 degree is undefined okay so so this is so let us talk about 10 now 10 is positive and we'll, we'll go only up to 450 degrees, sorry 360 degrees 10 is positive in the first quadrant and the third quadrant so this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant this is the third and this is the fourth so 10 is positive in the first and the third and negative in the second and the fourth okay let me go back now why I'm talking about this you need to there is a acronym which is like this a s t c or to remember it is c a s t cast okay so a stands for all a stands for all i'll explain s stands for sine c sorry t stands for 10 and c stands for cos so what does this mean in the first quadrant sine cos and 10 are positive that is what a means in the first quadrant your sine your cos and your tan is positive okay in the second quadrant only sine is positive can you see in your second yeah, we're talking only about positive so in the sec in the second quadrant only sine sorry this is the second quadrant in the second quadrant only sine is positive in the third quadrant <coughs> this is the third quadrant sine and cos are not positive here so what is positive that is tan oh your tan this is your third quadrant tan is positive in the third quadrant that's why you have the letter t and in the fourth quadrant only cos is positive so this is very useful when you're going to solve uh, equations or any trig equation if you know this acronym so let us talk about suppose if sine is positive in the first so as so if you have a negative value for sine you should know that sine is negative in the third and the fourth quadrant okay if you know this acronym okay and cos is negative in the second and the third quadrant can you see cos is negative in the second and the third quadrant and tan is negative let me go to tan tan is negative in the second and the fourth quadrant so how can you remember that tan is positive the year in the first quadrant everyone is positive so in the second and the fourth quadrant tan is negative i'll solve some equations in the next video